Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Dizo Senpai, and it is time to play Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. It is the Sinnoh remix, and uh, yeah, if you guys can do me a favor and smash that like button, subscribe if you guys are new. I'll be doing an entire playthrough, we'll be doing some guides, and uh, without further ado, let's get into the game. So, would you like to start the game? So, we're going to choose English as our language. And let's see what Sono has for us. Hello there. It's very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. As you can see, uh, Professor Rowan looking pretty clean. Uh, my name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. And there's a cute little Munchlax there. Uh, super hard to get. You're gonna get it from Honey Trees, but I think he's available in the underground as well. Um, <laughs> we live a alongside a Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle, and some people use them to develop closer bonds. And uh, yep, yeah, we know that. We've been playing Pokemon for what, 10, 12 years now? Anyway, what do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now then, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Cool. Okay, so um, let's see. What do we go with? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's just go with the default. He looks fine. So we're gonna go with the default character, and of course, my name is Dizo. So, okay, cool. Yes, that's my name. Okay, so you're Dizo. A fine name, that is. Thank you, sir. Now, this boy here, I believe he is your friend. <laughs> Who might he be? Well, um... Well, let's just, let's just go with Barry, right? Uh, I heard <laughs> Marcus is pretty common with him, and people like to do some, some creepy stuff. Uh, about the names, but I'm just gonna go with the standard Barry. Yeah, Barry is fine. I think if you click on I'll tell you then you can change his name. So Barry is the name of my friend. Yes, this is my hy hyperactive friend. Alright, Diesel, the time has come. Your very own grand tale. Okay, we know all this. <laughs> can we start? This is basically the same dialogue they've had since I think Gen 1. And welcome to the Sinnoh remakes. And there seems to be some ominous music. Despite the, the explorations team's best effort, uh, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon deluded detective. Uh, the rumored red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly, to the Crestfall team. Okay, I think this is the exact same dialogue as the original Pearl. Uh, although. Red Gyarados has nothing to do with this game, so I, I don't understand why it's there, but okay. Um, that concludes our special report. Search for the Red Gyarados. As we can see, our little uh, tiny chibi boy uh, without his hat, looking all scruffy. Uh, brought to you by Chibi Life TV on Nationwide Net. So he, he can see TV um, from other regions, it would seem. Okay. So, oh, this feels kind of weird, actually. He's a bit dark wacky. Can I run? Okay, so there's no no run available at the moment. Uh, okay. R button save. Okay, so let's just go to the options real quick here, right? Um, our tech speed. I'd like to go for fast. And. Let's put the auto save off. Nicknames are fine. Cries are fine. Uh, gyroscope we don't need. Sandbox and manual. Um, so we want a bit of difficulty in the game, right? I don't know how difficult the game will be. I heard uh, that later on does get a little bit difficult. So let's go on to set because uh, the more difficulty the better, right? And let's just change our window style. 
it seems like they have all the original uh, designs for the window styles. Um, blue, green, you know, the general stuff. Up to 23, okay, 24 looks new, and I haven't seen this one before either. But, I like the red and black. There we go. Okay, so we are all set up for these. And let's take a look at the game. So let's go back. And okay, so this is actually very similar to the original. Uh, there used to be a different console here. The TV still looks pretty retro. Uh, this is a laptop from like 2006. Uh, maybe we get a potion in you. Okay, this just tells me basics. Okay, that's fine. And here, X button to open the menu. And we have a nice tiny little bed. Okay, so let's go downstairs and see mom. Diesel, Barry came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it's about, but he said it's an emergency. It's always an emergency with Barry. <laughs> okay, Mom. I'll see you. Oh, yes, Dizo. Don't go out into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Fine, fine, I know. I know, I know, Mom. Okay, cool. Uh, it's quite smooth. The graphics look nice. As you can see, uh, like, let, let me get to the edge of the house. You can see it gets a little bit blurry to the top and the bottom. So Masuda has been learning some uh, blurry, blurry graphical skills. Where's Barry's house? Is this Barry's house? This is Barry's house. Okay, let's go into Barry's house. But, and he just headbutts me. <laughs> Okay. What was that about? Oh, hey, Diesel. I'm going to the lake. You should come too and be quick about it. Okay, Diesel. I'm finding you one million if you're late. Dude, I'm, 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 I don't even have a Pokemon. At my, can you see how scrappy my hair is? I, where, where am I going to get one million from? Barry. <laughs> and Barry runs away. Oh, jeez. I forgot something. Okay, dude. <laughs> Let's go see what it says. Okay, this is Barry's mom. No need to talk to her. I'd better take my bag and my guidebook, too. Oh, hey, Diesel. Yeah, we, we, we just saw each other. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's 10 million per fine if you're late. What? <laughs> Okay, Barry. Uh, basically, this room seems like a mirror image of my room, but like flipped over. Well, that's fine. It is what it is, right? I think my room's slightly bigger. And this is a commercial. Okay, nothing interesting there. Okay, so we can go around and talk to people in this town, but they're probably not going to give us anything interesting. Will tell us things like, I don't know, normal Pokemon information, catching stuff, and you know, nothing important. Okay, Barry's waiting for us up here. <clears throat> hey, you saw the news report that was on TV, right? You know, searching for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in the lake. That show got me thinking. I bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that too. So what are we going to do? We're going to go find that Pokemon. Okay, Barry, let's go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> okay, so he doesn't want me to go back into town. <laughs> let's go. Okay, Barry. Okay, so it seems like he follows us. Uh... Oh, did he just use instant transmission? What is this? <laughs> okay, you can talk to him. Uh, if you turn around like really slowly, and he seems to be walking to me. But that's fine. Uh, he wants to catch a Pokemon in the grass. Okay, cool. Let's go. Three. 
the right here lake front okay all right to the lake let's go find red gyarados well <laughs> i think red gyarados is more of a jojo thing barry but uh sure <laughs> we'll find something i'm sure what's going on professor there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either hmm I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different uh, than I was than it was before. But fine, it's enough that we've seen the lake. Don, we leave you. Professor, how are you enjoying it back in Sinnoh after being away for four years? It must be exciting again. Hmm. There's one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region serves us very well in regards to our studies. Okay, uh, there's Chibi Don and uh, Professor Ron. Excuse me, let us pass. And of course, uh, I beg your pardon, uh, we'll be on our way. So we have Don, and uh, yeah, she's doing her research studies. As you can see, our bag is there and it looks very blurry and so this is the new graphical updates uh, it actually looks pretty good even the water looks uh, you know pretty shimmery what is that about those two huh diesel let's go check this out what's that don't go into the tall grass no problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for a while, Pokemon. Come out. Sure, Barry. It's a briefcase. Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try and we can try and return it, but who are they? I heard them say, Professor. Oh no, and we've been attacked by flying birds, I guess. It's just it's just a Starly. I'm sure you can get away from Starly. Wow, Pokemon! What's going on? <laughs> okay, so they get attacked by Pokemon. They don't run. Uh, the first thing they do <laughs> is open the professor's bag. Really? <laughs> okay. Uh, so these are Pokeballs. Uh, let's use them in the Pokemon battle. Which one do you want? Okay, so let's take a look. This is our Turtwig, the tiny leaf Pokemon. So, pro tip, um, if you are trying to shiny hunt this, uh, this is not the way to do it. Because when you click on it, you're going to have to do the battle and only when you're in the battle will you see it shiny. Right here, it's not going to show you. So, for example, I go here to Chimchar. Even if he is shiny, I wouldn't know, right? Um, so, on my original games, I did pick Chimchar. But, uh, I've never played with Puplup before, so I'm gonna go with Puplup this time, because I think we can get access to, like, Houndoom? So we'll use Houndoom as our fire type instead. And besides, my channel's uh, team Pokemon is Lucario, so I don't want another fighting type for them. So let's go Puplup. Oh. Looks kind of good, yeah? So go Pupla! Okay, so, um, it's just a level 2 Pokemon. The graphics definitely look better. Uh, the Pokemon look like they have a bit more life in battle at least. So we have Pound and Growl. You can check your move info on the screen by pressing Y. So, of course, we can drop the stats and we have a hundred percent. Uh, attack power, sorry, 100% accuracy, 40 attack power, pound, so let's go down. I think I might have disabled uh, battle effects by mistake. So, okay, <laughs> I'll change that as soon as I'm done here. Okay, so we've got like five points, kinda, maybe. 
Boa, your Pokemon, uh, sorry, your Purple Up totally rocked. But my third twig was way tougher. Your, your third twig. <laughs> you, found it, you found it in a bag, Barry. This is somebody else's Pokemon. They were other people's Pokemon, but we had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? Okay, Dawn's pursed. Oh, there's the briefcase. The professor would have been furious if I lost it. Huh? Oh no! <laughs> did you use the Pokemon that were in here? You did? Oh my gosh! What's the professor gonna say? This is not good. She's like, she's like you damn thieves. I'll take the briefcase for now. Wait, and and she left the Pokemon. So she she just took the briefcase and then she left the Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> what was that about? I don't know what's going on, Dizo. Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from battle. Yeah, it's. <laughs> she left the briefcase and now it's his Pokemon. <laughs> she just she just automatically assumes it's his. Ah, Barry. Well, if we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. Okay, Barry. Chill. You go ahead. I know we have to return these Pokemon. They're not ours. But I want to spend a little more time with this little guy. Alright, uh, let me just check that battle style. I think I might have put effects off here. Uh, yep, that was it. <laughs> uh, wait, hold on. That was supposed to be fast. Set manual. Auto save off. Okay. That should be better. Okay, so let's go see the professor. I think that's what we're supposed to do anyway, right? Hey, it's those people. Is that old guy staring at us? <laughs> the professor's like, you stole my Pokemon, you piece of shit. Hmm. I heard from Don that you used the Pokemon. Let me see, please. Hmm. Put plug on to a trick. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. Don, I'm going back to my lab. So, he's just going to leave the Pokemon with us? Okay. Hmm, oh, okay, Professor. Please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you. Alright, cool. What was that craziness about? I mean... If he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want his Pokemon back? Diesel, we should go home too. Uh, Barry just wants to hijack this Pokemon. <laughs> uh, look at little Chibi me. Can I get a hat, please? His hair is so scruffy. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that you're both... Both and Barry are unharmed. The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sangam Town. I've heard that he's well known for his studies on other Pokemon, and I hear he's also quite intimidating. Dizo, I think you need to visit him in Sangam Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use these Pokemon. And of course, Mom's hair is just a big basket of material. It looks like a bean bag on her head, but okay. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure he'll understand. Oh, I know, Diesel. Put these on. Running shoes? Running shoes. Thank you. I'm going to Sangam Town. Uh, like it's an adventure itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much, much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Tilt the left stick firmly to dash faster before. Okay, so I don't think we need to hold on B or anything, it's just, uh, 
if you hold stick down full at the analog he will run I believe on places that you can run of course so let's see yeah quite fast if you're gonna walk slowly you just hold it slightly like that uh, that's much better okay cool so ah this feels so much better uh, the running is great you don't have to hold on any buttons to run he, he just does it so this is a quality of life improvement but it does feel kind of snappy like uh, snap to the side snap to the side you know that kind of thing but that's more or less what chibi is supposed to be I guess anyway so let's go and see Barry before we go Okay, and he's not. I thought he said he was going home, right? But he said, "Let's let's go home." And then he didn't come home. Okay, so we don't really care what his mom has to say. We have running shoes now, and we are ready for our adventure. Hmm. Is there anything here? Okay, so this is Lake. Very fun. We don't have any Pokeballs, so we can't catch anything. What is that? Is that a person? Okay. <laughs> he looked he looked like a like an electrode or a ball top in the grass. I'm so confused. <laughs> While Pokemon lurk in the tall grass, they can come out bursting at any time. So if you want to battle, just take a walk in the grass. If you want to avoid wild Pokemon, stay out of the tall grass. Okay, cool. So as far as possible, I'm gonna try and not battle a lot of Pokemon uh, I will battle every single trainer uh, like I said I'm also playing it on uh, switch sorry I'm playing it on set instead of switch because we want to have the difficulty at least a little bit decent here yeah? we don't want to just go everywhere and wipe things out but for now I think just my starter uh... okay, let's see what she has to say Hi, I work at a Pokemon. Did you know that a Pokemon's health is measured by hit points? HP for short? If a Pokemon runs out of HP, it faints and it can't battle anymore. Okay, so she's gonna give me a potion. Okay, just like every other game, I think. Okay, so let's fight the Starly. Now we can see what it looks like uh, with battle graphics because I had it uh, off the last time. Uh, let's go for pound. Now you can actually see the Pokemon doing the action. Okay, cool. So a few things to note here. As you can see, uh, it says pound is effective. So I believe it's just going to be like Sword and Shield where they say uh, not very effective. Effective just means neutral damage and super effective is well not super effective you'll know. I think after you use the move the first time on a Pokemon uh, it will show you the stuff. So let's try and do a growl just for the fun. Maybe I don't know any more information will pop up. Okay so Starly's attack fell And she also used that on me, but that's fine. Okay, so it's used up, but that's not an issue. Uh, the icons look nice as well. So let's go for another pound. As you can see, Puplup uh, slapped the crap out of uh, our little Starly. So if your Pokemon's health, uh, its HP is getting low, uh, you should go home and get some rest. So I didn't get to name Puplup, or did I? And I skipped it. I think they might let me name him. I don't know. But they say it's always fun to name in these runs, right? That ledge is one way to jump. Jump down for a shortcut to Twin Leaf Town. 
Okay, so we're in Sangam town now. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it. Our po Pokemon research lab. Let's go. That. What the? Oh, it's you, Tizo. Perry was like, let's go home. So, and then he ran to the lab. <laughs> okay, anyway. What the? Oh, it's you, Tizo. Uh, that old guy, he's not so scary so much, as he is totally out there. Oh, this doesn't matter, Tizo. I'm out of here. See you later. What, what is... <laughs> he jets, jets like a rocket. Okay. Anyway, Barry. Wow, what was that? Your friend, <laughs> your friend sure seems really impatient. <laughs> yeah, that's Barry. Well, let's go inside. And he's gonna stare at me. He's using the showering gun to see into my eyes, to look into my heart. Finally, you've come, Tizo. Was it? Uh, let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems rather happy. Alrighty then. I'll give you that Piplop as a gift. Really? Now, now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Sure, why not? So, uh, he's gonna be an Empoleon, and he's Puplup, Steel, Water, what can we call him? Let's call him... Emperor? No, that would be lame, right? Maybe? Because he is an Empoleon. Mm. Maybe we call him Trident. Because he does have like a Trident on his head, right? And it's kind of cool. So his name is going to be Trident. Just like... I know, the king of Atlantis. He has a trident on his head, so his name is Trident. And trident's are iron and he's steel type, so it works. <laughs> okay, I see. You happy with that nickname? Yeah. Your friend Barry told me what happened in the lake. I heard you battled very well despite being for your first time. And from what I can see, there's a growing bond between you and that Pokemon. Though it still is young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Purplup. I will be glad to take it. Although I'm kind of sad it's not shiny. But what's the chance of that, right? Uh, I'm so glad that you're coming towards Pokemon. If you want, I'd have to... Oh, I just can't say it. You'd what, Don? I'd kick your butt, also. <laughs> Let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. My name is Ron. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kind of Pokemon live in this region. To do so, it's necessary to collect all the data using the Pokédex. This is what I wish to ask you. I want to entrust you with this Pokemon. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Suno for me? Sure. Hmm. Good answer. He's like the dad the main character never had. <laughs> well, I don't think he has a dad. He, he kind of was born out of thin air. We don't ever see any of the main characters' dads, do we? Not even Ash. Anyway. <laughs> the Pokédex is a very high-tech device. It'll automatically record a dot on every kind of Pokémon you encounter. Diesel, I ask you that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokémon in this region. I've got one too. When you walk up in Route 21, uh, sorry, 201, with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means that there are just as many thrills waiting out there for you. Now go. Dizo, your grand adventure begins. 
I think that's literally the same dialogue in like every every uh, Pokemon game ever, right? Like the professor dialogue to you. Well, anyway, uh, the Pokemon that I used for the first time was Chimchar. If you would have chosen Chimchar at the lake, we'd have the same Pokemon. No, you're a liar. You are a liar, Don. If I had chosen Chimchar, I think you probably would have got Turtwig, right? Anyway, uh, let's see. Not that it matters, but anyways, I'm done. I also help the professor add pages to the Pokemon decks. So, in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head started, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Dizo. Can I get a hat, please? Okay, cool. Uh, go on. Grand Adventure awaits you. Okay, fine. Anything important? No, not at all. Don's father. Don's father's a research assistant. Okay, cool. Okay, Diesel, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. Okay, Don, I know what a Pokemon Center is. Thank you. I've probably been doing this uh, 12 years longer than you. Maybe? Not, no, not even 12 years. This is probably like maybe 18 years. Well, I've done it much longer than you. Okay, that's a march. We know, we know, we know. Thank you. Oh, that's right, Diesel. Uh, don't you need to let your family know that you're going to help Professor Ron with the Pokédex? You may need to travel pretty far, so I think you should let him know. Let them know. But I'll heal your Pokemon up at po Pokemon Professor, so it'll be a lot less scary. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Pokemon Center. Okay, let's go in and see what this is about. And, uh, alright. Nurse Joy actually looks like Nurse Joy this time. From the enemy. Boom, 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 boom. Thank you for waiting. Okay. Sometimes uh, at the Pokemon Center they give you items and stuff if you talk to people. Not that what they say is really important, just that if they give you something, then they give you something, you know? So, local club is located at the top floor of any Pokemon Center. They have all sorts of fun with your friends. Cool. Okay, so let's go back to see mom. So this guy's gonna tell me I can jump over ledges, right? Yep, that's what he told me. And this is so nice being able to run without uh, without needing to press a button. So it's just auto run. Let's go see mom. Uh, are my Pokemon healthy? Yes, they are. So, okay, cool. Uh, what's up, Diesel? Wow, Professor Ron asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom got your back. Oh, I know, Diesel. I've got used to something uh, that you'll find useful. And we have a guidebook. This is new. Um, okay, so take a look at this when you're curious about something or you have questions. During your adventure, you may find the answer. Gee, a journey, a journey full of adventure. I advent you. Uh, I. Why is my mouth going like this? <laughs> I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. <laughs> Just joking, Dizo. All right. Uh, I'm, I'll be fine by myself, dear. You go on your adventure. Okay, mom, we're tired now. Goodbye. 
So we have a guidebook, uh, useful information on the adventure. So this is like a tutorial guidebook, I guess. Excuse me, is my little Barry here? No, he's not. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Barry left uh, without speaking to his mom. He was like, no, I'm going on an adventure. Goodbye, have a nice day and gone. I don't think he even packed his bags. So he's so headstrong. At least I wanted him to take this. Uh, not to worry, Diesel will deliver it to him. Won't you, Diesel? Sure, Barry is my best friend in the game, I think, right? So why not? So I have his parcel, it's probably lunch or something. And let me think, knowing my boy, he'll probably head straight to Jubilee Life City. Okay, please take this to Barry for me. Alright, let's go. Odizo, you forgot something important. You gonna give me some lunch too? Ah, it's the hat. Cool. But now that I look like look at the hat, it looks like uh my character looks like his head is bald. He looks like he's balding uh, at the part where the hat is. It, it, you know, like when you see these these old guys. Uh, no offense. Uh, these these elderly guys who have the top partially balding with just some hair on the side. This is what he kind of looks like there. Yeah, you can't unsee it now, can you? <laughs> anyway, that hat always suited you, Diesel. Now go off. Okay, thanks. It's, it's probably because the hat is so huge. Maybe that's why it looks like that? But anyway, it's fine. Uh, he will not be using this hat for long. We do have customized options eventually. I think. So, uh, let's go on our little adventure here. Okay. Okay, so we're on Route 202, and we have Dawn. Oh, that's right! Diesel, I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one, just so you... Um, just watch me, okay? Alright, uh... I'm probably an expert... She encountered God? On the first try? <laughs> okay, she's gonna catch God, isn't she? She's gonna catch the HM uh, Master. I think like he could use like six HMs from them. Uh, waterfall, uh, Strength, Surf, you other stuff. Come on, Don, give me some Pokeballs. I know how to catch Pokemon. I don't need your help. One, two, three. Alright, cool. Beat your first card. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. See that? Isn't it neat? It's better to lower your target's HP. Okay, I know this. Thank you, Don. We know that you have to beat Pokemon up before you catch them to make it easier. Thank you. This is what I want. Okay. Uh, if you have lots of Pokemon with you, it'll be safe on long trips. Plus, it's a lot more fun having more friends along. I know that. Thank you very much. And... I would appreciate a Starly, please. Cool. Okay, so we have level 4 Starly. Uh, which is not bad. Let's do Pound. Uh, let's go for another Pound. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you can lower my attack because I don't want to crit you anyway, right? So... That should be fine. Ok, 
okay that works for me now let's go and use a pokeball the animation looks really good uh, in the battle scenes just by the way okay uh, gotcha Starly was caught uh, your Pokemon get experience so just like in Sword and Shield it would seem that uh, when you catch Pokemon your team also gains experience which is gonna make the game a bit easier a little bit okay so we get our first uh, base 40 stab move which is water gun and we have Starly they flock in great numbers okay we know that about Starly Okay, so we're gonna have our boy Starly here. And I am going to call him. What are we gonna call him, guys? Uh, how about. I don't know, I'm getting stuck for names here. Uh, let's call him Gusto. Nah. Gusto is too much, right? Ah, what's a good name? You know, like uh, the time I got reincarnated as slime? Uh, instead of storm, you could use the word tempest. Let me just see if I have the correct... Maybe tempest? Yeah. Let's go Tempest, right? So we have Starly, uh, our Tempest. And that is the first member of our party. So I'm gonna go heal because I think Starly should be low in health, right? Do you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes, please. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to call it uh, for episode 1. Uh, that's for now. And I'll give you episode 2 today if I get a chance to upload it. Uh, so, show some love on the channel. Uh, smash that like button. Subscribe. If I do see enough likes, I'll upload another video today or maybe another two videos today if I can. And uh, thank you so much for the support and have an amazing day.